Plymouth Albion entertain London Scottish here at Brickfields in what was considered a must-win game if they are to avoid relegation from the Championship. If Albion lost tonight and Asher win in their match against Mosley tomorrow, that would see them drop into the bottom position. But a win from Albion would almost certainly secure Championship rugby next season. London Scottish, who have not lost in their two Pool C relegation playoff games, tasted defeat last time out at Brickfields back in October. On to the action now, and what a night it turned out to be for Albion. Plymouth Albion came into tonight's game full of confidence after last week's hard-fought victory over Isha. Albion named an unchanged side, but the surprise was the inclusion of Ed Lucy, who started on the bench after he re-signed for the club in January. Coach Nat Swoomey's faith in his team selection paid off as early as the second minute, when John Vickers settled the relegation nerves as he forced the ball over the line for the game's opening try. After dominating possession in the opening half an hour of the game, the Scottish defence were unable to deal with replacement Gareth Evans' instinctive leap over a ruck on the Scottish try line to make the game 10-0. After James Love missed the first conversion, he made amends and was able to convert the try to make the score 12-0. Love was unable to score his first penalty of the match to make the scores 15-0 going into the break. Albion started the half as they did the first with a try in the opening minutes. Aaron Carpenter shrugged off three challenges to get to the Scottish 22 line where the ball was eventually passed to Sione Tupulutu who was able to drive over for Albion's third try of the game. Love was again on hand to kick the two extra points. Carpenter was again involved but this time he was the try scorer as the Albion pack forced the Scottish defence back before Carpenter was able to bundle the ball over the line which delighted the Brickfields crowd as Albion secured what might be a vital bonus point. This time Love was able to convert the try from a tight angle. Albion was superior in every aspect of the game until a sloppy pass was intercepted by Augustin Gossio who ran three quarters the length of the pitch to score Scottish first and only try of the game which was converted by Ollie Grove. One more penalty from Love sealed the victory as Albion ran out well-deserved 35-7 winners. So it was a good night for the Brickfields outfit as they outplayed their visitors from the capital. This win more or less sets Albion up for another season in the Championship as they look towards next week's reverse fixture against the Exiles at the Athletic Ground. <laughs>